Because Biz It Is, today's guest, Harlan Priddle. Harlan, we maybe haven't said enough about the uh, coalition. Can you explain the K96 and, and yeah. the name and, and really a little more about what it does? I will. Uh, actually, it had its birth, so to speak, in uh, late 1993 and 1994. Hutchinson was doing a visioning thing. And one of the pillars that they said they needed to really emphasize was, was quarter development. Because they had two, quarter, two three, three quarters they were really looking at. One was 96, one mm -hmm. was 61, and the other one was going north on fi or west on 50. So at that time, uh, Commissioner Francis Shepp in, in uh, Reno County and, and Commissioner Tom Winter said, let's see if we can't form this as a group. The first, so they put the cities of South Hutch Haven, Mount Hope, and Mays in a coalition with themselves. But the first thing they said is, we need to look at a plan. What do we need to do? Because the basic reason for doing this was orderly and efficient development. In other words, make it sure it fits. Mm -hmm. That was the, and so they put some funds in, they did a plan. I assisted with, uh, with the mechanics of getting this started. And my comments to them was that I'd be glad to help as long as you have some sort of uh, program to implement the plan. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to do a plan if you're not going to do something about it. So as the plan was done, then each of the local communities uh, accepted that plan and they established the uh, K96 Core Development Association as a membership organization. And the philosophy there, Tim, was the fact that development isn't going to happen because the community wants to want it to happen. It's going to happen because the private sector and there's a need for it to happen. That's where I was, as you were saying that, I was thinking, you know, it's great for those governments to get their heads on straight and want these things to happen. Yeah. They can't really no. make it happen so, by themselves. That's right. And that was the step process. That was a strategy. And now we started, like I said, with the two counties and the four communities, and we had six. And I think we have 49, 49 or 50. I didn't count this morning. But, uh, but there are all kinds of people. There are real estate people or bankers or developers and people who have an interest in the development of the corridor. Do they have specific objectives? I mean, I, I get kind of the directional, but mm -hmm. are there things that they're trying to do that yeah, are specific? Yeah, we, we established what we call uh, strategic directions about four or five years ago. We broke those down into different kinds of things we wanted to manage, mm -hmm. and one of those was the system itself of transportation, making sure that the corridor uh, highway system stayed in place. Right. The next one was economic development, mm -hmm. making sure that the communities were ready in the way of planning, like comprehensive plans, that kind of thing, and, and that kind of thing. The other one was marketing. Uh, it, uh, it, it doesn't happen unless you ask for the business. Nope. And so we established that was one of our strategic uh, directions that we wanted to continue to market the corridor itself as a region for the place you want to either live or have your business. Do you have um, some objectives in Topeka, things that need to be right there in order for your development to occur? Yeah, one of the, one of the key things that we've done in, in the association is making sure that uh, we and I particularly have established partnerships that when the phone rings, somebody answers it. Because we work with the Department of Commerce. I visit with them at least on a quarterly basis on things happening. Mm -hmm. For example, I'll just give you an example of something that's gone away that was very valuable. Mm -hmm. We used to have a system, and you know about this, an enterprise zone system. Yep whereby those local communities had an ability to offer an incentive package on the creation of jobs and capital investment against tax credits. But those went away. Those went away. So they're working harder at that. And I'm not saying that was a defeat uh, of, of any, because, but it, it did make a us, tool out of your box. It took a tool out of our box, yeah. But we've looked and, and each community then says, well, we can help ourselves, you know. So and without exception, each of the communities now have a neighborhood revitalization. Whereas if you're a business or a residence and you come into those communities, you can get a, a tax abatement, so to speak. You have to meet certain criteria. But I think that the key thing that I, I more or less stay plugged into organizations like your organization, mm -hmm. making sure that those entities that are, are legislatively being uh, addressed don't affect the communities. If they affect the communities, we say so. You know? um, I t what I've found is that it's a little more difficult to get the attention of the folks in Topeka than it was, mm -hmm. in the sense that I don't get the questions I used to get. Well, I, I think that, and uh, we could probably go on a long time this morning. On well, things, I know you but, have tread carefully here. But yes, and I, I'm not going to be critical of anybody, but I'm going to say there are different sections and fac factions now, whereas we used to have two groups we usually looked at, you know, Democrats and Republicans, mm -hmm. and now even within each of those parties, 
there are factions which you have to address. So I think you have to make sure that you weave it through many more, many more uh, uh, individuals uh, to make it happen. What, um, I'm gonna go back to Harlan for a minute. Okay. What have you really enjoyed throughout these years? You, you well, must have enjoyed a heck of a lot. Well, yeah, when, when you live this long, you gotta enjoy something. But uh, I guess I enjoy working with the people. Mm. I like tomorrow, I'm gonna enjoy going to our K96 meeting in Mays because we'll hear one of our agenda items is happenings along the corridor. And that's always neat to hear communities, how many housing starts ahead, if they got any business expansions, what have they done about their streets? You know, that's always, a, that's, an, that's become an important part of our agenda. I guess I've enjoyed being involved uh, and maybe using experience to their benefit. You know, there's a saying I, I said one time in the past, that, Experience a little bit like love. If you don't share it with somebody, it's no good at all. <laughs> so if you have experience in something, you need to maybe, maybe you can help somebody. So that's kind of the reason I do it. I like it. Um, I don't know if the audience knows this, but I'd been called by Wichita East News several months ago, and they wanted to talk to somebody about <laughs> work, people who like work. And I, I gave him Harlan, <laughs> because if there's anybody who's enjoyed work, it's him. Well, you know, Tim, I think within each person, they, they may complain about their job, but everybody wants to be productive. I'm not, uh, I, without exception, I don't care who it is. The key thing they want to do is to be, to be productive, to do something. And I think you've done that, and we've done all we can do on this week's <laughs> Wichita's Biz That Is. Thank well, you, Harlan. Thank you for having me, Tim. I appreciate it.